Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, Tony in New York, uninterrupted. You got cut off there at the end of the last segment. We're taking calls right now. I got key Second Amendment news uh, coming up. I need a fly swatter. There's a fly in here. And I tell you, I'm going to kill it. Uh, continue. It's not even a fly. It's like a gnat. It's, it's not a fruit fly. It's bigger than that. It's, uh, it's driving me crazy. Uh, let's go. Uh, we can do that to the global. It's like little flies flying around it, actually. Like a big giant mothership fly is Hillary. Uh, and then like seeping out of her. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. She lays more fly eggs. I'm sorry. T yeah, she, she gave birth to Obama, actually. Yeah, do you know Obama's actually her son? Uh, the product of her Congress with a uh, dead horse. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to, I'm sorry, folks. Tony in New York. I apologize. Tony, go ahead and make your point. No, don't apologize. I think I think you're right on. But uh, no, I actually found this really cool thing on the Internet that could be used to fight um, or to kind of for activism. Um, I'm sure you've seen the Wi-Fi network. So when you go to connect your device to uh, something like a Wi-Fi network, you see all the different names. Yes, sir. They sell these devices called Wi-Fi pineapples that let you broadcast about like 100 different Wi-Fi names. And you can make them anything you want. So you could have 9-11 was an inside job. You could make 100 Wi-Fi networks with freedom messages and just carry this thing around with you everywhere you go. And people will see it um, because you could actually do some really neat things on it that will make um, – so whenever, every time someone pulls it out, you could actually connect to it and have it logged directly to Infowars.com. There's so many neat things you could do. Exactly. Like there are so many inventive ways for each individual every day to reach out to others. And, and just by doing that, it will have a huge effect. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, Alex. Hopefully uh, some of your listeners just automatically go Google it. I think it would be a great way to reach people. Anyways, keep up the good fight. Love you, man. Thank you, brother. We love you as well. You know, I realize what it is. I've been talking about Obama and his camp followers, the flies. Maybe these are Obama supporters that have showed up. In th there it is. I almost got it. Need a fly swatter. Maybe that is. Maybe that's a drone. I'm being sarcastic, MSNBC. I didn't actually say that was a drone. They've already said, I believe, wasps live underneath the Capitol building or under the UN building. And everybody knows it's actually giant 18-foot tall turkeys. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk to Steve in Texas. All right, I'm going to stop right there. Steve in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Last month you were mentioning Amazon's predictive purchasing ability. Yeah. Yes, sir. And that is, that is so pervasive that it's basically changing the way economists are able to predict the market. Instead of looking at market um, predictions, they're able to predict individual consumers and that's going to change the way advertising and everything is done in the future Sure, via your web id to all your devices tvs you name it uh smartphones they're going to deploy ads that are tailored to you and then it's just it's the end of your privacy right there and then they can also tailor your behavior by what they feed you falsely exactly the data mining is the future you will not be able to go to the bathroom without someone knowing about it the only way I see to combat it is to create a local economy. Um, my economist professor says the exact same thing about Amazon almost a week later. And uh, he said, you know, he doesn't want the future to be dictated by mega corporations. And it's everywhere. So well, exactly. While we're being told to fight with each other over what, how much pigment we have on our skin, that's because they're discriminating us on our info, on, on our taxes. It's all going to these globalists. I mean, we're all being destroyed right now. I don't care what color you are, and we're busy fighting with each other over the diminishing artificial resources. And so I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Go ahead. Yeah, and, um, you know, I was with you out there last year, tactical firearms and the Second, Amend uh, the Second Amendment's under attack, First Amendment's under attack. Uh, it's, it's bad. So you have to begin to network locally and take things back 50 years. Yeah, I'm just you glad the Katy police outside of Houston... Didn't give anybody trouble for all being armed with uh, what you call assault rifles and us out there bullhorning on the side of the road. And nothing bad happened. And the police didn't violate the First or Second Amendment. Wasn't that great? Yeah. I mean, the other day they had a Harris County Sheriff uh, SWAT thing.
It looked bigger than a tank. I mean, it was jacked up like an 18 wheeler. It, it's horrible. Yeah, those are called full power war wagons. It's incredible. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Tom. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Phyllis Schlafly of the Eagle Forum, a group fighting the globalist and promoting national sovereignty for, I don't know, 50-something years. She's going to be on the transmission coming up at the start of the next hour for 30 minutes. Amnesty equals suicide for Republican Party. Folks, if, if these were libertarians coming over the border, quite frankly, I wouldn't care if there were 30 million. I, and, and, but if they were white socialists coming across the border, I'd be against them. Uh, it's predominantly Latin Americans, and they are absolutely, on average, close to 90% voting, anti-gun, anti-family, Democratic Party line. And again, folks, it's not that we're, quote, for the Republicans either. It's that the Democrats are taking over. And the Republican leadership wants amnesty, too. And the big banks want it. And they're giving money to try to run all the Tea Party people out and saying it's racist. No one lets illegals come to their country and give them all this welfare. We're going bankrupt, folks. We're already bankrupt. And you're going to legalize illegals? That's going to bring in even more. And we know where this situation goes. So... I'm going to repost on InfoWars.com. I've got uh, Kit Daniels doing it right now. Amnesty equals suicide for Republican Party. And Phyllis Schlafly is going to be joining us. We're going to break all that down. I'm going to retweet Matt Drudge's tweet uh, today, uh, plugging the fact that uh, she's coming on. Because this is a big deal. 
And we need to talk facts. I can't go to Mexico and have a baby for free. Uh, I can't uh, go down there and get on welfare. And it, it's just, in, it's insane. Mexico is a failed collapse state. And then they sell it like it's mean to Hispanics if you don't want totally open borders. And then Americans, on average, are so politically correct, they go, okay, we'll do whatever you say to the point of you can't even, the Discovery Channel and History Channel, uh, you know, are getting rid of any characters that are <coughs> of mixed racial background in a bad light. I mean, here's one, Obama Satan lookalike cut from film version of hit miniseries, The Bible, The Devil, is on the cutting room floor. This is now a movie about Jesus. The devil gets no more screen time, says producer of the son of God. And that's all the political correctness. And Google, you know, won't let you talk about black mobs beating up white people all over the country. And they call that hate speech and it's threatening to shut down basically World Net Daily with Google ads. We've got Joseph Farah on tomorrow to break all of that down. So this is the political weaponization of speech where you're not allowed to have your speech, but the establishment, the establishment is. The Democratic Party operates as a cult now, where in almost every case you can go out to California, especially, but also University of Texas in Austin, where I live, kind of a um, bizarro world compared to the rest of Texas. Not that Texas is perfect, but I mean, it's fruitcake land. And you go down there and say, hey, we want to ban water for the earth. Al Gore says they, they signed the petition. And we want to put gun owners in prison, all of them. And they signed the petition. And out in California, Mark Dice goes out. And I mean, this is unedited, folks. And this is what, I mean, he'll talk to 10 people and nine of them will say, yes, put gun owners in camps and kill them. If you say for Obama, we're going to put gun owners in camps and kill them. You've heard the, the audio here. The video is on Infowars.com. And they say, yes, we want to kill gun owners. They will do anything. They are in a cult. They don't know how to tie their shoelaces, literally. They just don't know how to support the Democratic Party and hop around acting trendy all day. They don't know about foreign corporations, only Democrat and Republican leadership. They have no idea about balkanization. They have no idea about real discrimination by the globalists and the rigged economy. All they know how to do is run around grandstanding. Now, I want to cover some Second Amendment news. We're going to go to JJ, Wayne, Kevin, Timothy, John. In fact, in the order, it's JJ, Wayne. John, then Timothy, and then Kevin. I'm going to get to all of you here in just a moment. But first, uh, I want to go ahead and get into this news report that's up on Infowars.com. Rockefeller Brothers, Pepsi behind gun grab agenda. And you can go in there and watch the video and see their own um, webpage, the Aspen Institute, which is like a Bilderberg subcommittee. And you can go see the heads of PepsiCo and the, and the Rockefeller Foundation, Rockefeller Brother Foundation, admit they're funding the move to disarm the American people. I mean, let's talk about where this comes from. Ultra-rich scum who've politically hijacked the country and are the biggest recipients of taxpayer bailouts and tax exemptions. I mean, they are the ultimate discriminatory. I mean, find out who funded Hitler. The biggest funder of Hitler on record was the Rockefeller Foundation, then became Rockefeller Brother Foundation. I think it was like in 1910 or something. But so by the time they funded the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in the 20s and then Hitler, it was the Rockefeller Brothers. The literal group that, that literally created the Nazi party, the proto-Nazi party. And David Rockefeller went over there and spent time in Germany and was a double agent of the Germans and helped set him up when he was like you know 18 years old. I mean, these are these are amazing people. I mean, I got to say, he set up every UN organization there is. I mean, you, you got to hand it to them. They, they really are busy little bumblebees. George Soros is kind of a modern example. He was a Nazi collaborator on record. And it's just so crazy to be informed and know that a Nazi, a proto-Nazi, this is the Nazi's daddy and mama that laid down on its back and literally spit out the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute and worldwide eugenics and Adolf Alois Hitler. And it's teamed up with Soros and Bloomberg and all these other Jews of all people going after the Second Amendment. I mean, it is just cuckoo, bizarro land.
And, and then you've got all these camp followers like Michael Moore and Obama and Nancy.